Hey guys, I wanted to put together this quick little tutorial to show you guys how to do voiceovers for your doodly projects using Audacity. I have been using Audacity for years um, and I actually use it very basically. I mean, I haven't gotten in there and done a bunch of complicated stuff. I am going to include a video uh, link to somebody's video who gets into a whole audio sweetening technique that he uses. It's helped me out a lot and I think he'd be able to explain it a lot better than I would. I am just going to show you the basics of Audacity and why I think this is a really cool program to use with your doodly videos or to just do any kind of voice recording in general. It's totally free to use. Um, there's no affiliate links or programs involved in this one. Audacity I think is actually put together by a bunch of volunteers or something. And so what you would do is you would go and you'd find where you can download Audacity. You'll find it in several different websites. People will have authentic download uh, websites for it. I happen to stumble across this one. It looks like it might actually belong to them, but I'm not 100% sure. Just, you know, do your due diligence when you're looking for the software. But as you can see, they have it for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. OK, and you definitely want to make sure that you have the latest version. I actually don't have the latest version. It's working fine. Um, I'm going to get into that in just a second. So the difference between my version and your version, which would require me to uninstall it and reinstall it. Um, my version, I had to actually include something called Lame. Lame was an MP3 encoder. That was basically an extra little program I had to put in there that allowed me to take the Audacity files and export them as an MP3. But it seems that now it's actually um, built in. You know, there's something that is built in now to Audacity where you do not have to have that extra component. So like I said, I'm not going to uninstall it and reinstall it. It's working fine for me as it is, but you guys might be real lucky if you don't have it yet. Um, if you go ahead and get Audacity, you might be able to skip that step. So when you have downloaded it and installed it, you're going to open it up. It's going to look like this. And and they do have, you know, they do have, um, I think it was here. Yeah, so they do have all of these like little menus and stuff that you could look at. I think there's a forum and stuff. So anyway, I'm opened up in Audacity here. And just to show you, you know, if you hit file, you can always open up an MP3 or, you know, open up a saved project or something and close it all out. You can save your project. Anytime you would do it, you would save it. Um, this is my version. I would export it as an MP3. Uh, you have to have something here in order to do it, which we don't yet. Uh, you've got your editing tools here, all kinds of stuff. You know, you can use the effects and play around with all kinds of stuff here. All right, basic stuff here, guys. You want to record, you hit the record button. You want to stop it, you stop it. I would suggest if you're talking and you need to stop, I would actually just hit the stop button because some reason when I recorded and hit the pause button, it was still recording. So I think you can pause it if you're playing it back. I would not pause it if you're trying to pause yourself from talking. Um, then I would stop. OK, that's just my opinion. All right. So now that we have a little bit of audio here, some of these tend to open up. So let's just say I want to cut a section here. You know, I'm, I'm left clicking it. I would go in there and I would cut. OK, if you want to go back and start re-recording, you'd go back to where you left off and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hi, I am recording these words. OK, so I have also found and then you can go to the effects. And this is where the other video I'm going to put in my link, you know, in the description box rather will help you. OK, because there's stuff you can do to normalize and equalize and just make your voice sound better. But again, he's better at telling you that stuff than I am. So what we're going to do here is I want to show you something that has come into play for me. 
You can see your basic screen here gives you about 16 seconds. And I'm going to normally when I do a video or rather an audio, um, I would talk for longer than 16 seconds. So what I do is I kind of view out the screen. I, I extend it out so that you have more room here. I have found that if it has to, I mean, I could keep talking and you'll see that when it gets past the 16 seconds, it's just going to keep recording. But I have found that when I do it that way, it causes noises or something in the recording that I don't like. So I like to extend the screen. To do that, you would go to view and you would zoom it out. You can either do this and every time you zoom it out, you would have to do that. Or you can just hit control three several times and zoom it out for as long as you want. So if I know I'm going to record for like three minutes, I might extend it out to like five or six minutes. That's just me. OK, to bring it back in, you would hit control one. And I like to do that when I'm done recording so that I could see gaps, you know, long gaps and stuff. Um, and that's what helps me to be able to cut out some of the stuff that doesn't belong there. OK, that is some very basic audacity knowledge. You would go when you're done doing everything you want to do, when you're done sweetening your audio, when you're done editing everything, all of it, you would go to file, you would save your project. In my case, I'd have to save it as an audacity project first. And then when that has happened, I'm just going to cancel it all out. When that has happened, I would go and export it as an MP3. But in your download with it already built in, you know, it may look the same. It may not. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that is the way you would go about it. So. Let's just say I have recorded the audio. Now I've come into Doodly and I went ahead and I I already did this whole video. This is like take four. <laughs> so I've already recorded a tutorial. I have already added it in. It's easy, guys. You know, if you need to bring sounds in, you hit the little plus button, you go, you browse your files, wherever it was, you saved it, you bring it in, you title it, you're good to go. All right. You can take it if you're going to use music in your video. You would what I do, I take the voiceover and I put it here. And then I would put the music here. In this case, I don't have any music, so I put it here. And this is where you would adjust the sound. OK, if you put music here and your voice over here and you want to make the music lower so that you can hear your voice better, this is where you would do it. You would keep your voice, you know, at 100 percent and you would save and preview the whole thing. And then you can kind of play around with the with the sound of any background music that you're using and, you know, tailor it to your liking. So. What I'm going to do here, I don't usually like to play any kind of audio when I'm recording because the effect of my recording makes anything I play on this computer create a terrible echo. But just just for the heck of it, I will go ahead and do it and you'll just get a really quick idea. OK, that's enough. So in a nutshell, that's how you use Audacity. Again, very basic tutorial. All right. But that's what I can show you here. And it should be enough to get you going. OK, so if you're a total beginner and you're like, I don't know what to use. I don't know how to do the, the voiceover recordings. I don't know how to put that stuff into Doodly and know what to do. This is at least going to get you there. OK, and again, for any additional editing or how to make the audio sound better, there are certainly other things that can help you with that. Like I said, I'm going to put a link in my description box of this video to at least help you with one part of that. But in a nutshell, in this tutorial, what did we do? I told you about Audacity and where it's available and that you need to download it. And I let you know that if you go to and I'll put this in the description box. Um, here is where you can find additional information about Audacity. OK, 
That's what it looks like when you open it up and start recording. You've got some basic knowledge here on some of these other things that you can use. Pause, play, stop. I actually haven't used those. It's clearly backward and forward. And record. Um, and here is where you can actually, you know, make certain areas louder. Again, not tech savvy. I don't play with that too often, but it's there. Okay, you can make this as basic or as... Uh, complex as you'd like. Okay, Audacity actually is a pretty cool program. You can do a lot of stuff with it. And we uploaded it into Doodly and we added it to our video. Okay, so that's Audacity in a nutshell, guys. Um, again, if you're looking to start doing your voiceovers, I would highly recommend, and not in a screen share video like this where I'm winging it, Maybe that's obvious to you, but, um, you know, in a screen share video, you, you know, you don't get to script anything out because you have to talk as you go along. But when you're going to record your video, I would highly suggest think long and hard about what you want to say. Write it out as a script. Open up Audacity. Have a bottle of water with you or something. Do a couple exercises. Get your voice sounding nice. My voice does not sound the way it does right now when I record actual voiceovers and, um, you know, and read it. Okay. And be very generous with yourself over time. All right. And, you know, if you make a mistake, you don't have to like scrap the whole project. There have been lots of times, lots of times where I'm recording and I don't like the way a word sounded and I'll just let some empty space, quiet space go by for a couple of seconds and I will reread where I had pretty much just left off and as I'm playing it back, I know exactly where to cut that out. It's as though it never happened. Okay, so that's just another little technique that I have used. I really hope this helps you guys out. Um, I record these things because I figure if I've learned some tricks along the way, I'm trying to show them to you guys. And if there are other people who have helped me along the way, or if I've gotten something out of their videos or information, then I'm very happy to include them in my description box or refer them, refer you to them because I just figure that's what people do. You know, we try to help each other out. So, and if you've done something cool, if you've created, you know, a really cool doodly tutorial or tutorial that'll help with any of my other little video tutorials, then, you know, let me know and I'll check it out. And if I think it's, you know, helpful, I'd be happy to reference you and put the link to your video in my description box because I figure that's how you build a community. So anyway, hope this has been helpful to you guys. And until next time, take care.